Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm your WordPress coach and I'll be going through all the basics and essentials of WordPress from hosting to domains to themes, plugins and what you can actually do with WordPress. In this first relatively short video I'll be going through why I think WordPress is the best platform for building pretty much any sort of website or even e-commerce store and um, I've been using using websites and developing websites for almost two decades now. I've used various platforms including custom coding sites and that just took too long. I started in WordPress about uh, maybe four or five years ago and it's really changed the way I build websites. It really helps to uh, quickly produce websites that are uh, good to look at, they're functional, they get a lot of information to the user and they're very easy to navigate. Once you once you start working with them, you'll see how easy it is and how flexible WordPress is as, as a platform. So uh, simply WordPress.org is not to be confused with WordPress.com. It's essentially the same thing, but the .com is the freemium and also premium platform where they host everything for you. But the WordPress.org is the completely free community version um, that you can install onto your own web hosting or onto your own local machine or whatever you want and I'll show you an example in the next video of me installing WordPress completely free using uh, one of my cPanel hosts. So WordPress is um, it's like a it's, it's, it's a content management system so basically once you install it you can change the themes, the, the, the plugins, you can add a shopping cart, you can take payments, you can create newsletters um, you can make review sites. I use it for a lot of affiliate websites. You can make corporate websites, company websites. Um, and I can't think of sites that you can't make with it. Um, I have made uh, two active shopping sites with, with WordPress and another plugin called WooCommerce. I'll get into that in another, another video. But what I've uh, I found that if, if you get um, a few thousand visits a month, WooCommerce and WordPress is fine. But then if it goes higher, you need to get a much better host. But as a starting platform, WordPress with WooCommerce is a great shopping platform. Plus, you're not paying any fees like you would be with Shopify and so on. So it's great to start with uh, WordPress and WooCommerce, but that's getting ahead of ourselves. Okay. So on their site here, they just tell you a little bit about WordPress. Um, they talk about the design, the powerful features. You see down here it says, trusted by the best, 42% of the web uses WordPress. From hobby blogs to the biggest news sites online. And you can actually get a, a Chrome plugin, I think it's called Theme Finder or something, where you can see if, if a website is using WordPress, it will highlight blue and you can see what themes they're using and what plugins they're using. Obviously not all sites allow you to, to see it, but a lot of them do. But you can see some of these famous sites using WordPress. So it is very customizable, it's very, very SEO friendly, responsive mobile sites, high performance. Uh, manage on the go, which I don't do. High security. Uh, it is very secure for my own use, um, but it's, if you regularly update it, keep an eye on security. I've never had a a hack or any of my sites. I've been using it for years, and I've got a few hundred sites, so I've had a decent record. Um, powerful media management and easy and accessible. Um, Fifty five thousand plugins. There's probably more than that, but yeah. And there's plenty, plenty of themes, probably thousands of themes. Um, okay, that's enough. That's enough of that page. Let's click on the showcase actually. So all of these sites in their showcase are using WordPress. Let me just Toyota Motors Preserve. Let's pull that one up. Okay, let's click on the visit site. Okay, you, I do like this bit, this feature where you can, when it brings up images. Yeah, I like them when it brings in images slowly, it looks nice. That's in Portuguese, I don't understand Portuguese. Um, Rolling Stone, Vogue, Daybreak, I've not heard of those. Anyway, let's see what Learn is. So uh, WordPress, um, I'm not going to pretend that, that is, there's not a, a learning curve. I wouldn't call it a steep learning curve. 
But um, I've had experience with uh, Joomla, with Drupal, with previous uh, content management system, and also Magento, Shopping Cart, Prestacart, um, there's all sorts of carts. Open Commerce, I think. It's quite a few from back in the day. So um, I'd say I was uh, I was a mid-level user. I wouldn't say I'm advanced now, because I don't think you can't really be advanced. There's always stuff going on in WordPress, but. I'd say I'm a mid-level user, and I was a mid-level user, and um, I kind of knew what was going on, but I did need a little nudge to find things and just to see how things work. And I know it can be intimidating when you first see the control panel. There's a lot of features, a lot of buttons, and you don't really know what's going on. So it's a good idea to find channels like this channel and just get a feel for the interface and just see what you can do, because you can't really break it. I mean, as long as you've got a good host of backups, you can't really break your site. Um, but they have workshops and stuff, but they're really long and boring and they don't get to the point. It's best if you find a good YouTube channel like this one where you can quickly get to the point and see what you want to do and just watch it. Uh, themes, there's thousands and thousands of free themes. Um, I normally pay for premium themes. Um, I normally go for unlimited licenses because they are, they are you get obviously you get support, which is important, but also... They normally um, uh, improve the themes and add features as it goes along. But I mean, I've seen plenty of sites just using the base themes, the free 2020 and 2021 themes. Even Astro, I, I paid premium for this. That works fine in the free version. Hello Elementor is very popular. There's plenty of easy themes to use, free themes. Generate Press is very good. Cadence is my premium theme that I use on most of my sites. I've got Cadence, Generate Press, and Astro Premium. These are all of some of the most popular themes. But there's plenty to choose from. Uh, don't get overwhelmed with the selection. Just start off basic, get 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 a feel for it, and then you'll you can move on. Plugins. This is the my favorite thing about WordPress is you can find a plugin for almost anything. Anything you want to do, you'll find a plugin. If you want to add a social feed, if you want to auto post from your WordPress to YouTube, or the other way around, um, if you want to add RSS feed content. Um, you want to make a portfolio website, you want to add s content to your store. Um, there's just so many different things you can do with a WordPress site. Uh, let me look at some of these plugins. So popular plugins, contact forms, SEO, Elemental. Um, obviously you need spam protection. You don't need this plugin, you can do it yourself. I'll show you in another video. I don't recommend you use too many plugins because that will slow down your site. And I'll go over the features you should look for when choosing plugins. Um, I use duplicate posts sometimes. I use updrafts for my backups. I use Lightspeed Cache on my Lightspeed enabled host. I'll get that later on. Um, doing some caching. I use this for security limit login attempts. Let me see, I use insert headers footers to add some uh, scripts to the pages. It's not very interesting plugins yet, it's not a good example. Um, I don't really use too much social media on my site, but you've got social media photo feed. Um, templates, so you've got 300 plus ready to use templates. I've never used that, but it's got a lot of five star reviews. 1 million plus active installs. So that's what you, what you want to look for. You want to look good reviews, active installs, and if it's tested with the latest version, then you know that it's been actively updated. With WordPress, you have to make sure that you use very good plugins from good uh, developers. Okay, I'll just I'll use this one for security as well. I'll log in. I'll stop at this page. Um, I don't use their mobile apps for anything. Um, but it does look, does look nice. I might use it one day. Uh, let me see. Now with uh, WordPress.org, the support is via the plugin or theme. Let me show you an example. Let me click on plugin. Um, not one of theirs. Let me just pick one. Oh, not beta. Sorry. Just click on one of these. Um, let's say this one for example. So when you go to the actual plugin page, you'll see you've got the details of the plugin. They normally give like a little 
bullet point list of the main features. It says a premium version, you normally find some information down here, but the ones on WordPress.org to download are free. Uh, they charge premium for extra features. You look here for the latest update, so you want something that's been recently updated. Active installs, so obviously this is very popular, I use this one as well. Um, WordPress version, so it goes all the way back to version 3.3 or higher. And the current version of WordPress is 5.8.1 at the time of recording, so this one is up to date. And PHP, you obviously don't want to be using anything below 5.2, even anything below 7 now you don't want to be using. But a lot of companies and big sites, they don't want to update their PHP because it could break features on their site, so they just keep, main, keep going with the same PHP. That's just a scripting language, um, which runs on your server, with your hosting. But ideally, you want to run PHP 7.4, um, and then you've got the reviews, ratings, and so on. But what you do, if you go click on support, you'll need to create an account with WordPress, a free account, and log in, and then you can uh, you can leave a a question here or a support request. Now, because this is free, you won't get a, get an immediate answer. It depends on the developer. If they're very active and they've got a big team, they will answer quickly. But uh, normally you you have to wait a couple of days, sometimes a couple of weeks, which isn't ideal. But if you go for one of these big plugins, you probably will get an answer within 24 hours. Or another user will help you because this is the community section. Um, and then you can always go to the developer site and you can look for more frequently asked questions and so on. And then it goes through the contributors, the change log, and so on. So anything else I need to show here? No, I don't think so. So that was a bit longer than I wanted, but um, that's just a basic introduction to what WordPress is. And in the next video, I'll go through how to actually install WordPress onto a cPanel host and how to get started. Thanks.